The process begins with the breaking of glass items, often discarded glass and gathered from the trash or carelessly tossed. They consist of old beverage glasses, louver blades and all sorts of unusable glass items. Then they are transported into a melting furnace where the glass is heated at intense temperatures around 1090 degrees. The entire molding method is known as glass blowing. It involves the use of three furnaces. Firstly, the melting furnace for melting raw glass into molten form, then the glory hole for reheating, and finally the cooling point. The working temperature in the furnace often rises to around 1090 degrees Celsius. At this stage, the glass appears to be a bright orange color then sent to a rolling bench where the molten glass is rolled and molded simultaneously by hand with a soaked newspaper and before it is blown by mouth to allow the oxygen to expand the molten glass into a bubble. Next, more glass is gathered to create a larger piece. Once a piece has been blown to its approximate final size, the bottom is finalized. Then, the molten glass is attached to a stainless steel called a panty or rolling pipe to shape and transfer the hollow piece from the blowpipe to provide an opening or to finalize the top. It's then taken to the glory hole for some more heating to make shaping and designing into a finished product easier. It may return to the glory hole more than once, depending on the kind of design being crafted. Once the design is completed and molded, it's taken to the annealer to cool it over a 24-hour period. After 24 hours, the work of art is ready. Mr. Michael Tete spoke to the news team. As we get further and further, step, step by step, we can get to where uh, we can get uh, equipment that we are supposed to get. With the philosophy of impacting knowledge to the younger generation to expand the glass blowing industry in Ghana, Mr. Tete has about five apprentices who is currently training. <laughs> 